To think it's already been two weeks since Brandon and I made our little agreement. Well, hopefully after the sleepover tonight, that Praneeth guy will win Brandon over and I won't have to talk to either of them anymore. Oh, Selenia is calling. What's up, Sil? Hey, Anthony. It's 6.30 p.m. I'm just calling to make sure you aren't going to flake on those two guys. No way! I'm super excited for this. Sure you are. Alright, well, have fun. I'll see you at school tomorrow, and please stay on your best behavior. I'll try my hardest. Bye! Huh. I should have everything packed, so I think it's about time I head out. Uh, which one of these is his house? Why is my GPS acting up? Uh, maybe I should just turn back now. Oh! Brandiopolis! I'm happy I ran into you! Oh, great. What was that about turning back? I changed my mind. I really don't want to spend the night at Pranzi's place. By the way, why do you keep calling Praneeth Pranzi? It's been his nickname for years. Everyone calls him that. Oh. Well, either way, come on, man. I'm sure things are going to be fine. But I... I think the real issue is, where is his house? We're standing in front of it. Uh, oh, I knew that. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Ah, uh, fine. But one seven joke and... I know, I know. Let's just do this. Uh. What's happening in the his house, boys? You ready for a Mac Daddy good time, homie slice pieces? We're about to throw down and get funky fresh madness, y'all. Um... Uh, hey, Pranzi. Come on in, doggy bros. I baked us a cake full of the good stuff. We're fixin' to turn up tonight, my hitters. The good stuff? You mean... Yeah, it's my special ingredient. Love. Don't just stand there outside in the cold. We'll get situated in the kitchen. It's... 73 degrees outside. We're in for a long night. I hope so. This is gonna be a hoot and a half. So, I was thinking we could pop in a good movie. I've been hearing nothing but good things about the movie 22 Jump Street. <laughs> There's even a line that goes, My name, Jeff. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Should we watch it? We can get our funny bones tickled before we get into the real fun stuff later tonight. Yeah, sure, I'm down. Works for me. Excellent. I'm sure this movie will be seven out of seven stars. Oh no. And that's my cue to leave. Wait, wait! No, hold up, Brandon. What? Did I do something wrong? Listen, Pransy, you gotta calm down with these seven jokes. Seven jokes? Ah, uh, was I doing it again? Huh? I'm sorry. You see, when I was in elementary school, I had a pen pal who got very sick and ended up in the hospital. On my very first time meeting her in person, I remember telling her all kinds of jokes. The joke that made her burst out laughing the most was a very silly one, where the punchline was me saying seven, but in a silly voice. She used to make me say that joke every time I visited her after that day. Un- <laughs> Unfortunately, she didn't make it. In honor of her, I, I tend to make a lot of my jokes revolve around the number seven without realizing that it might come across as annoying. I'm very sorry. Whoa, you're a good guy, Pranzi. Brandon, you're a heartless jerk! How was I supposed to know this? You're a monster! How could you hate this poor guy's hilarious seven jokes? Please, Pranzi, tell us another one! Y yeah. Please, I love the number seven so much. That movie was more entertaining than I thought it would be. The my name Jeff part was funnier than I expected. <laughs> I knew it would be a good one. Well then, I think it's time we play a few friendship bonding games. Friendship? Bonding? Yes, I just want to get to know my two best friends a little better. I think we should start off with something easy. Hmm, Parents' Day is coming up soon, so... What are you planning on getting your mom and dad? I'll go first. To show them my thanks for adopting me, I plan on giving my mommy a diamond necklace and my daddy a gold watch. You're next, Brandon. Oh, um, I was thinking about getting my mom a nice cake and a card. And for my grandpa, probably some new diapers. That's adorable. And for your father? I don't really have a father. He left my mom and I when I was a baby. Oh, I had no idea. You're lucky. 
Huh? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. You're lucky. I wish I'd never met my stupid scumbag of a dad. And why is that exactly? My dad left me and my mom too, but unlike Brandy over here, I actually spent 10 years of my life with him. Whoa. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Eh, it's whatever now, but I can never forgive that guy. Not after the emotional toll my mom experienced. Four years later, and my mom is still working herself extremely hard just to keep her mind off of him. Maybe this wasn't the best subject to talk about. Nah, like I said, it's whatever. Just feel like you never met your dad, Brandon. Not if he's just another scumbag who'd run away from his family. Hey, that's not fair for you to say. I still want to meet him someday. Why? So he can lead you on as he makes empty promises? What? No. Well, let me tell you something. My dad made a very big promise to me when I was a kid. I used to love his story so much, and there was a special story in particular that he would always build up as this amazing thing that he would tell me when the time was right. The day before he told me he was finally going to tell me, he left forever. Well, maybe your father might have been a jerk, but I'm sure he's not even half the jerk you are. I don't even know if my dad was a bad person. My mom never says anything bad about him. She always talks as if he was the most amazing man in the world. Oh, shut up! You two need to calm down. You're getting mad at each other for no reason. Anthony, just because you have issues with your father doesn't mean you have to try to instill your ideals onto other people. If Brandon wants to meet his father someday, then let the boy dream. I... <sighs> Sorry. And Brandon, please don't be too mad at Anthony either. It is obvious that his mother wasn't the only one deeply affected by the leaving of his father. Yeah, um, sorry to. Well, I feel as though we've all grown a little bit closer. I think we should end our friendship bonding game with that for now. Let's head up to my room. Are all of these comic books? Yeah, you two into them? Nah. I'm more into manga. Hey, me too! Really? That's a little surprising. What's your favorite? Huh, probably Hunter x Hunter, but since Togashi's always on break, I spend most of my time reading my second favorite, One Piece. Hey, I love One Piece too. What? R really? I, I'm actually thinking about writing a story that's set, like, 150 years into the future where Luffy's already become the Pirate King, and the new main character's a fishman with the poison poison fruit. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Ah uh, yes, I love One Piece as well. The part where his hair turns yellow while he fights the alien is so exciting. And don't even get me started on when he writes the names of people in his notebook to kill them. That never happened. I think you're a little confused. Oh, well you two should totally try out the Superman comics sometime. I can lend you them if you want. Um, I'm good. Hey, Pranzi, I'm gonna go to the restroom. Oh, go right ahead. It's right over- I know where it's at. I've been here before, remember? All I'm saying is that Superman can beat Luffy in a fight. And all I'm saying is that it doesn't matter. One character being stronger than another has nothing to do with the quality of the writing. <gasps> Are you saying that Superman is poorly written? What? N no. I've never even read one of the comics, so I wouldn't know. <coughs> huh? Brandon! Are you okay? W whoa, w what happened? That didn't even sound like Brandon. It sounded more like a girl screaming. <sighs> Window, girl, mask, stalker. Just calm down, take it easy. <sighs> Look at the window. Hmm, there's nothing there. Huh? What did you see? I thought I saw, oh, Never mind. What did you think you saw? Nothing. It doesn't matter. I think I'm just paranoid after that lunatic went into my room a few weeks ago. Lunatic? So, that freak was telling the truth? Freak? Who are you talking about? Two weeks ago, I ran into a guy who was chasing after some lunatic who was stalking a poor little boy. Oh, you must have met Tabman then. Yeah, that was his name. Whoa, so you both met Tabman? You two sure are lucky. What I do to meet such an incredible hero someday? I'd love to talk to him some more. I want to be brave like him someday. Meh, 
he was kind of lame. What? He's the symbol of peace in the city. Everyone knows and loves him. I mean, he just kind of seemed like a wannabe superhero. He's probably some loser who lives in his mom's basement. How dare you! He's so much cooler than most superheroes in comics. Take it back! I don't know why you're getting all worked up over this guy. Do you have a crush on him? No, I... Guys, it's three in the morning and we have school tomorrow. I think we should go to bed. Especially since tomorrow is my last day to ask out Kayo before the homecoming dance. Oh, good call. Yeah, I think I'll hit the hay as well. Fine with me. Let's all go to sleep. How did I get here? Please, don't do this, Michael. What? M me? Oh, this must be one of those dreams, but what am I looking at? Why is a cop holding a gun up at me? What did I do to end up here? I'm so sorry, Anthony. I, I didn't want it to end this way. It still doesn't have to. We can stop her. We can save everyone if we just work together. I should have never gotten involved in this. I should have just stayed away once the case was closed. Put the gun down, Michael. She has my little girl. If I don't do this, I'm not losing her. What's going on right now? Who is this man? Nothing personal, kid. But you and Tad Man should have never trusted me to help protect Brandon. That psycho girl has her ways of getting to anyone and everyone. Why'd he bring up Tad Man? And why'd we trust him to protect Brandon? Does this have to do with the Yandere girl from my last stream? Could she be the same lunatic that was stalking Brandon? I'm sorry. No! Please, Michael, it doesn't have to be like- ah! <sighs> Oh, you're awake. Did you have a nightmare? Yeah, I did. Looks like Brandon is having one too. The guy has tears in his eyes. Huh. So, why are you still up? Yeah, I couldn't sleep, so I decided to read one of my comics. Now that you're awake, you want to take a crack at one? Uh, fine. Do you have any Batman comics? What? Of course not. Pfft. I'd never buy a comic about that weakling. I've had this suspicion ever since the bathroom earlier. Their personalities are the same, they have the same accent, Pransy claims to admire him, and they both have hatred towards Batman. This can't be just a coincidence. Come on, Vibes, this is gonna be the perfect time for you to work! So how about a Flash comic book instead? The jig is up, Pranzi. I know you're Tab Man. Uh... He's nervous and surprised. I got him. Now it's time to get some answers. <laughs>